It's time for another hot dish from Happy Healthy Why. With Daddy. You won't be surprised when this chicken noodle soup is super tasty. Alright, so first we're going to boil some water to make our homemade chicken broth. I am using bone-in chicken thighs with skin on to give the broth all that flavor. You do not have to boil your own broth to make this chicken soup, but I find it's, you can control the broth better this way. You can always use chicken bouillon. After about 20 minutes, so we took out the thighs and then we skimmed the fat to make the soup as light as possible. Uh, with those chicken thighs, you can you know, use that chicken back into it if you like as well. Here we got some onion. I don't want too much onion in my chicken soup. Kids don't like it that much. So I'm just going to chop up really finely, really small, and get that ready to put into my soup, as well as some carrots. These are some of the basic ingredients that people usually put into chicken noodle soup. Now, there's not very many carrots and very many celery. It's just a little bit there to add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of texture. It's not the star of the show, though. That would be the chicken and the noodles. So we just have enough to put in there. Now here is about a pound of ch chicken. The one we bought is store rotisserie chicken, which tastes really good by itself. So of course it's gonna be good in the soup. Now you could of course use the uh, thighs, chicken thighs, whatever chicken that you heated up as well instead if you would rather. Now after we've added some oil, about a tablespoon of oil, two tablespoons, we are going to fry the vegetables that we have. That's gonna add some flavor to the broth that we're gonna put back in. A nice little sweet aroma texture with those. Uh, after about seven minutes of that, we're going to grate in some garlic, put in some garlic so that we can have a nice garlicky flavor because that adds a nice little touch to our chicken noodle soup. So I like to use a uh, cheese grater to grate my garlic. And so once you got all those cooked for a little while, garlic about two minutes, we go ahead and add in our chicken broth. Now I looked and the, added, the water level wasn't the greatest, um, so I'm going to add some more water to that, but then I also added in two bay leaves and a teaspoon of salt for flavor. Now you can put salt later as well as you want. You're going to boil that up. Once it's boiling, put in the noodles and you're going to cook it. It'll take longer to cook these noodles than you'll see in the package. Once the noodles have been cooked for about 10 minutes, so about two minutes left of cooking time, we add back in the chicken so that it goes back in and get nice and tasty. Then we just let it heat all through for the last few minutes. Make sure once the noodles are nice and tender, and boiling and they are ready to go. So you, we usually taste this noodles to make sure they are ready. Now we're gonna serve it up. The noodles could have been done just a smidgen more, but they tasted good. And the carrots and celery are soft, which I like. And the broth has good flavor, but it's just good. There aren't really any other spices that I taste. But it's good. I like it. Chicken's okay. I don't like chicken and soup that much. Mm. 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 Hmm. The reason why I'm taking so many bites of this, I feel like there really isn't that much flavor in this thing as a whole, which I find good in soups. I feel like the main thing you get is sort of like that not quite as tender piece of the chicken, like because all the vegetables are never easy to chew and swallow. It's really interesting how there's like there's really just not anything that overpowers anything else. It's sort of like just if you soak chicken in water sort of flavor I'm getting. Happy Healthy Wife Chef Barry here. Remind you to click on that like button or leave a comment down below. It helps out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.